Matt Provins, Gary Logbook back with you courtside here at Kirby Sports Center, Eastern Pennsylvania. Big win for the Leopards. We begin the postgame show, which is presented by the Maroon, uh, the Maroon Club, rather, and, of course, enhancing 23 Division I sports. Join the Maroon Club today. We're going to uh, join Dan Mowdy. He's got the player of the game presented by Coca-Cola. We invite you to experience the Coke side of life. Dan Mowdy standing by with a couple of heroes today. All right. Thanks a lot, Matt. Diane Nolan doing a great job here. Lots of X's and O's in this one, but it was all seemingly fine-tuning, and you guys really had all engines running on full speed. We did. I thought our kids played exceptional today. You know, we worked on our uh, defense a little bit more. You know, our offense was a little bit slow in the early going. We kind of shored that up. Defensively, we thought we needed to do a better job. And I thought our kids did a really fine job today against a good team. Well, you guys came out of the gate eight to nothing. And then, of course, Lehigh had a little flurry there, tied it up twice. Uh, some great things happening. You went up by 13 three times, a 10 to nothing run to close that first half. How important was that? Oh, it was very important because we have gone out to some leads and we watched them kind of dissipate away. And, and so we were really strong on bringing in some more people from the bench and everybody who came in contributed. And when you have that going on a team, uh, you're pretty hard to beat. Absolutely. Let's talk about the tale of two halves here. It seemed like uh, Danielle Fiacco, of course, one of the heroes today, hitting her, her block to become the all-time most proficient blocker in the Patriot League. Quite an honor. It certainly is, and she's so well-deserving. You know, everyone goes at her, and, you know, for her to be able to keep her composure and get those blocks instead of fouls, we're really proud of her, and I'm really happy for her. Absolutely. And then if we took a look at the halves, we've got uh, Maddie Fayan turning it on in the first half and Emily Holman kicking it right into the second half. Well, we always said if we get our perimeters and our bigs to play well on the same night, we'd have this kind of performance. And it was really neat to see Maddie and Emily do what they do. Well, a terrific performance all the way around. Diane Nolan, congratulations on a big win. Thanks. This one's going to be fun. All right. Colgate's up next, but there's plenty of time to celebrate this one. We're going to bring in our first half uh, MVP first. We'll just do it in chronological order, Rusty. We've got Maddie Fay in here. Maddie, tell us a little bit about what was going on in that first half. You were lighting it up from all aspects of the game. Yeah, thank you. Um, I think we just all went into uh, this game, you know, looking to score. Um, we knew what we had to do. We had to come out uh, strong, and we came out fired up, and I'm just really happy, you know, for everyone. So. I love the score sheet here for your performance especially. Um, the senior guard standing to my left was six of nine from the floor, one of one from three-point land, two of two from the free throw line. It gets better. Three assists, four steals, one block, 25 minutes of play, not one personal foul. An amazing, an amazing day. Thank you, thank you. All right, thanks for joining us. Our first Coca-Cola player of the game, Maddie Fayan, and uh, we turn to Emily Holm in our second player of the game from Coca-Cola. And Emily, you picked up where Maddie left off in that second half. Tell us about some of the things that you were seeing out there that you took full advantage of. Um, well, I just think uh, our inside and our outside, we were really working well together. Um, we were, they really were able to see us on the assist and we were able to kick out and they were hitting down shots. And whenever the outside can hit shots, it opens the inside and vice versa. Terrific effort here today. 8 of 16 from the floor, 7 of 7, perfect from the free throw line. And the team was through the first half and into the second half as well. Five rebounds, 23 points, a block along the way in all but uh, 20 minutes. So congratulations on some big numbers. Thank you. That's Emily Holman, Matty Fayne, also our Coca-Cola players of the game. Back to you guys. A lot of smiles courtside, and you had to like what Diane Nolan admitted, that this one was special, this one was going to be fun, and to get a big win at a time they needed one, a big job by the Leopards to step up. So it was a great game, and Gary, I know you had as much fun as I did today with this win, and you're going to recapture a little bit of that right now, because these highlights, they're pretty impressive here for the Leopards. Well, I don't think they can play much better than they did, so they'll be happy to take a look again at the highlights. We'll start with a local product, Carrie Kinnick. It took her a while to get off the schneid. She did manage to pick up double figures, as you'll see Carey score three times here. But it really was a struggle for her as she picked up just 10 points in the ball game. And Lehigh certainly looks to her to score more than that. But Kinnick, who can do it all, she really leads them in so many offensive categories. There you see three quick buckets by her. But really today, it belonged to Maddie Fayan. It belonged, of course, to... Uh, Emily Holman, as you'll see Holman on a great pass from Little inside. She'll put it up and in off the glass. Emily Holman with 23 points in today's ball game. Watch this pass. You don't score 23 unless your outside people are helping you. There was another good pass. This one I think was by Lockney. Maddie Fayan just seemed like everything she shot today went in. 
Maddie with 15 points, one shy of her career high. And there you get a look again at Emily Holman on the inside. So Emily Holman in the last two ball games has scored 55 points. Uh, Emily Holman, you'll get one more look this time. Jamie O'Hare, perfect pick and roll, step back, up and in. Emily Holman, along with Maddie Fayan, our Lafayette players of the game. Here's how it all came out. The 51 Lehigh points came on 18 field goals. They had five triples. They were 10 for 13 from the foul line. They fall to nine and 10, two and six in the Patriot League. Katie O'Reilly led them with 11, and Kerry Kinnick had 10 points in the ball game. For Lafayette, there's 73 points. That came on 24 field goals. Three three-pointers in the ball game, 22 for 24 from the foul line. At one point, they had made the first 17 in a row. Holman with 23, Fan with 15 points, and Maddie led everybody in rebounds with nine rebounds in the ball game. As the Leopards win this one, Matt, by a 73 to 51 score. It's been fun. It's been a great time, and as of now, sixth place all to the Leopards. Still a lot of play left, but it's always good to be ahead of those teams you came into the day tied with and at least got one off their back in Lehigh. And we wish the men well tonight at Stabler as they go after their first Patriot League victory. Garrett, it's been a pleasure. It has. I thank you so much for uh, allowing me into your, uh, your booth here, your little world, your Lafayette world, but we do want to thank everybody involved with today's telecast. Of course, Dan Mowdy with the reports on the sidelines, and of course, the entire crew here, uh, the RCN crew for Lafayette at Sports Network. Again, for Gary, I'm Matt Province saying so long. And again, your final score is 73-51. Lafayette wins here today. Roll parts.